Hello and welcome to SAS Guru. In this video, we will start mapping the remaining objects imported from Salesforce and create a mapping between DLO and DMO of the object case, contact identifier, parking space, and parking reservation. Let's start with case subject. So go to the case object data stream record. On the right, we will see the default data mapping. This default data mapping is present because we have imported this object using a service cloud data bundle. But let us review this mapping. Click Review. On the left, you will see most of the things are mapped. If you remember, we created two custom fields, CSAT and substatus. Those should also be mapped. If you notice, CSAT is not mapped, and the subtype is not mapped. For mapping CSAT, we are going to create a custom field. Add a new field. The field label will be CSAT, the API name will be CSAT, and the data type will be number. Then, save it. Now, the CSAT field in the DLO will be mapped with the CSAT field in the DMO. Likewise, we will create a new custom field called subtype in the DMO. Let us first save it. The second new field will be called subtype. Let's call it subtype data type, will be text. Enable value suggestion and save it. We have created a mapping for case object. Moving on, let us map the parking space object, a custom object in Salesforce. Go to the parking space, you will notice that none of the fields are mapped. Click Start, and on the right, we will create a new custom object called Parking Space, or a custom DMO called Parking Space. Custom Data Model, then New Custom Object. Object Name, Object Label, and everything else gets selected automatically. All the fields are mapped. Click Save. With that, all the fields in the Parking Space DLO are mapped with the Parking Space DMO. Click Save and Close. Similarly, let us create a mapping for parking reservations. Go to Parking Reservation Data Stream Record. Click Start on the right. Click on this pencil icon. Select Custom Data Model New Custom Object. You can notice that the Parking Reservation Data Model Object and its API are automatically created, and their fields are created. Click Save. And with that, all the fields in the Parking Reservation Data Lake object are mapped with the Parking Reservation Data Model object. Save and close this. Next, we will create a mapping for the Contact Identifier object. Open Contact Identifier. So for this, we will use the standard object in the DMO called Party Identification. Let us open and use that stream. Let's start the data mapping. Select Objects. Look for Party Identification. Click Done. Now let us map contact with the party field. Then, map the record ID with the party identification ID, which is a primary key. There are three other important fields, which are identification type to be mapped with party identification types. The identification name is to be mapped with the identification name, and the identification number is to be mapped with the identification number. All the key fields from the contact identification object have been mapped successfully. The key fields in the party identification object that are needed for successful resolution are identification name, identification number, and identification type which are mapped successfully. But finally, contact, which is a lookup to contact with, is also mapped to the party, which is a lookup to the contact DMO. With that, let us save and close. The final setup we have to do with respect to these data mappings is adding a relationship. If you remember, there is a relationship between parking space and parking reservation. Parking reservations have to look up to parking space, which means that the Parking Reservation DMO should also have a lookup to Parking Space DMO. We are going to do that. 
Let's go to the data model. Open Parking Reservation DMO. Go to the Relationship tab and create a new relationship by clicking New. Click New Relationship. The field here is a parking space. Cardinality is n as to 1 because there are multiple parking reservation records for the same parking space record the related object will be parking reservation. And the related field is record ID, save and close. This way the party reservation DMO is related to the parking space DMO that ends the data mapping for objects that are sourced from Salesforce CRM.